Welcome, dear viewers, to Rosenbauer's online product days. This webinar is about firefighting technology. That may surprise you because you read RTE Robot in the title. What does this RTE Robot have to do with firefighting technology? Here to explain is the responsible product manager, Roland Wiebach. Hello, Clemens. So, Roland, what does the RTE Robot have to do with extinguishing fires? The new Rosenbauer robot and extinguishing technology have a lot in common because the modular robot can also be used to fight fires with a built-in water cannon. When you say also for firefighting, does that mean it can be used for more than that? Well, yes, that's exactly the point. The robot can do much, much more. For example, I can use the robot to enter hazardous areas during firefighting operations without exposing the emergency personnel to great risk. On the other hand, there's a lot that has to be transported during a firefighting operation. This costs emergency personnel much time and energy and can be done much more efficiently with a robot. Can you give me some examples? The robot can drive a portable pump to the open water supply, can lay out hundreds of meters of hose in a short time, can transport material for a forestry accident into rough terrain, drive the diving equipment directly onto the workboat, or deliver sandbags to the location they are needed during a flood operation. I see. Here's another question. I've already heard of firefighting robots before. Why has Rosenbauer now developed its own? Right. Various fire departments already use robots. Any device the fire services use must meet specific requirements. Robots that were originally developed for the military, the construction industry, or agriculture simply don't meet these requirements. Our robot has the same dimensions as a Euro pallet and can therefore be transported by any logistics vehicle. It can perform valuable services as a firefighting robot and makes rolling storage containers mobile in the field. Wow, that sounds like a really exciting product. I think you should tell us more about the actual technology. Of course, I'd be happy to. What sets the RT robot apart from other robots is its modularity. It basically consists of three main components a specially developed chassis, exchangeable payload modules, and the specific chassis control and the functions of the payload modules. Let's start with the chassis. It was developed completely in-house by Rosenbauer. It has an electrical drive for the two crawler tracks. The chassis has IP protection rating of 67 and can therefore also drive through water. It features an integrated driving light, which also has a blue light function. A quick coupling system provides a connection to the payload. Its dimensions. It is 1200 millimeters long, 800 millimeters wide, and 360 millimeters tall. In terms of technical data, the vehicle has an unladen weight of about 375 kilograms. The payload is about 625 kilos. It is driven by two 48-volt electric motors with 125 kilowatts of continuous power and 3 kilowatts peak power per motor. Four 12-volt AGM-90 ampere-hour batteries are installed as energy suppliers. Let's move on to the driving performance. The driving speed is 6 kilometers per hour, which is ideally for all operations. On the one hand, this is important in order to be able to complete transport tasks quickly. It's not necessary for the robot to go any faster, however, because we wouldn't want the firefighter who operates it to run after the vehicle with a radio remote control. The range with one battery charge depends on the load as well as the terrain profile. On level ground with a full load, it is more than 10 kilometers. Gradients of over 35 degrees can be negotiated, and the tipping angle is more than 30 degrees, depending on the load. The next immensely important component is the radio remote control. All the robot's travel functions are controlled via this robust device, as are the turret functions. The operation of the turret is analogous to the operation on other Rosenbauer vehicles that also feature a joystick remote control. Other functions are operated via buttons and toggle levers. The remote control has an IP protection rating of 65 and a radio range of over 200 meters. Now we've arrived at the feature that makes the Rosenbauer robot so unique, the modularity of its superstructure. As we've already explained, the robot has a standardized interface for the various superstructure modules. 
These modules can be changed manually by default, their dimensions being 1200 by 800 millimeters. The modularity's uniqueness is further amplified by the optional payload changing system, which makes it possible for a fully loaded payload module with a 600 kilogram load to be set down or picked up again by a single operator without any effort. In addition, the Rosenbauer robot also finally makes it possible to transport standard rolling storage containers with ease through rough terrain, sometimes virtually the home stretch to the site of operation. To do this, the rolling container is moved onto the robot by ramps and braced. Let's briefly go back from logistics support to the actual firefighting operation. Of course, Rosenbauer turrets can also be mounted on the robot. These would be the RM-15C with a capacity of up to 2,000 liters per minute or the RM-15C high pressure with a capacity of up to 400 liters per minute. This turret creates a fine extinguishing aerosol with a throwing distance of over 45 meters without an additional pump unit. Last but not least, of course, the RM-35C with a capacity of up to 3,800 liters per minute. This is protected by a self-protection nozzle. In addition, there is a store's C pressure outlet on the module, which can be used, for example, for post-extinguishing tasks. After so many dry facts and data, allow us to show you a short video of the robot driving with the mounted RM-35. Well, now that we've seen it in action, the RTE robot, pretty impressive, don't you think? Let's see if I can give you a quick run-through of the robot's advantages again. First and most fundamentally, the RTE robot can do work that a human would normally have to do, therefore allowing for safer operations. Second, it is the only robot built specifically for firefighting operations. Third, it can carry heavy loads, up to 600 kilograms, through even the most difficult terrain. At the same time, thanks to its pallet dimensions, it is easy to get to the site of operation. Fourth, the robot is extremely versatile and can be used not only for transport, but also for extinguishing fires via various modules. Fifth, and let's not forget the final point, Rosenbauer's robot is easy to operate. The turret control is the same as in other Rosenbauer vehicles. Correct? Correct. Well, this concludes this very exciting webinar. If you want to know more about the RTE robot, more information is available at rosenbauer.com. Please ask our experts, who are standing by in our chat room now. I want to thank you, Roland, for your presentation, and of course you, dear viewers, for watching. See you soon, and stay safe. Goodbye.